Hey guys, welcome to this video. Okay, so today we're doing a full bowl and get ready with me. I painted my nails today, I just did my natural nails, but I messed up on this finger so I had to fix it. But um, we're going to the fair. So I did my hair, honestly, I've been working on my hair like all week. <laughs> yeah, so I did my hair, it's big, it's long. I have a cute outfit, it's real casual. So I'm doing my makeup like pretty simple, as simple as possible, but we'll talk about that when we get there. I'm gonna put on my contacts real quick. It's two o'clock. I'm hoping to be done by like 4.30, four. So let's get my moisturizer on first before I touch my hair. My Modesca spray and then e.l.f. Daily Hydration Moisturizer and I'm going to add a little castor oil. Okay, so should I just do this whole video like this or what? I'm going to take them down. So I'm going to go ahead and take these flexi rods out so we can lay our hair down. This is long curls. Hopefully, I don't. I filmed another video with a full explanation of Vibe With Me. If that's up before this, I'll link it. These are the curly clip-ins that I always wear and I blow dried and straighten them, wand curled them, and then I put the flex rods in to hold. Um, I'm going to do my edges. So I'm gonna take some castor oil and put that on them. And along with edge control, I'm gonna go get my gel. It's on the back too. This is so weird, right? Like seeing me with hair like long and straight-ish. I feel funny. <laughs> so, so we can get started on the makeup. I'm going to prime my face with the Smashbox photo finish oil and shine control primer i haven't gotten any new makeup so all of this stuff is pretty much the same as all my other get ready with me's so i was using rosin skincare right and it ran out i ran out and so i was like oh, okay that's fine i'll buy some when i can um in the meantime i'll use us other stuff like African black soap or whatever I had so I did that for like two weeks and then my skin like got so textured again and I remember that's what, how my skin was before I started using like the first thing I realized from that cleanser that I got from Rosin was that my texture it wasn't as bad so I pulled that bottle back out Cause it wasn't it was like the smallest bit at the bottom i put a little water in it just to like break it up because it's like a clay cleanser and i'm using that again so i have to buy another one because out of the three products that i got that was my favorite and i felt like worked the best so the texture is not it and then i don't know i just feel like i'm kind of breaking out it might be slight stress but i'm not super stressed i don't know but it's not terrible, but I just noticed some changes. I think the setup for like a get ready with me is really nice. Like I'm in the center. I mean, you can kind of see some stuff behind me. You can't see my plants though, I cover them up. But um, I have my light kind of like sitting on my bed right now. So 
I plan on getting like an, an attachable LED light for my camera. So when I film videos over here, I don't, I can just have it on there. I'm also gonna get a new lens too. And I think that'll be really cool for like videos like this. Cause I really like filming Get Ready With Me's. Um, I'm gonna finish my eyebrows and then we can get moving. All right, so eyebrows almost done. Um, so I said I didn't wanna do like too much makeup. So when I don't wanna do too much makeup, I usually will put my lashes on first. I knew I wanted to do eyebrows, but I will put my lashes on first and that will like put in perspective like the whole look. Cause like if I start with foundation and then concealer and then like a ton of powder and stuff, it gets like really heavy really fast so i want to keep it light so i just put on my lashes first when i want like a light look if i want to wear lashes so lashes i don't know oh here. i have these trios um absolute new york not fab lashes knotted trios and they're still so I'm just gonna apply a few of these. Just take some with some glue, and then I apply them to the underneath my lashes. Gives a super natural look. Okay, I finished both eyes. Can you tell? It's real subtle. It's like a little cute. I'm gonna skip foundation and just go to concealer. And when I keep it light, I literally just put like a swoop underneath each eye, like that. <laughs> and then I'm gonna do a little bit of cream contour. I forgot to be to name this stuff, but for concealer I use the Too Faced Born This Way, and then for the contour the Flesh Foundation Stick, and for my eyebrows I use the AOA Studio Pencil from Shop Messe, and the lashes are from the Beauty Supply. Okay, so I just blended out my concealer, and now I'm I'm gonna quickly blend out the cream and kind of blend it together not really blend it together but like blend it out <laughs> okay so like that and then I just go back over with my beauty blender to blend it out because for some reason like with no foundation foundation helps everything else to blend underneath it I guess because the product has something to blend into and mix with so when it doesn't, you kind of have to like make sure it's blended. <laughs> okay, and then I'm gonna set my under eye with my Maybelline loose, Maybelline Fit Me loose finishing powder and medium deep. And then I'm just gonna blend everything together with the Mac Mineralized Skin Finish in dark deep. So that's kind of it. <laughs> um, I was gonna add, I haven't been wearing blush. So I'm not gonna do it today. But I like some bronzer on top. And then a little highlighter. This is Milani highlighter, glowing. Now I'm going to spray my face with the Smashbox Photo Finish Setting Spray. Smashbox sent this to me and I've been trying it and it, it is good. Like, it's wonderful. And then I'm going to add some mascara to my lower lash line and on my eyebrows. 
And this is the Maybelline Lash Stiletto in black. Like the black is black or something. So, I'm just gonna wear gloss. <laughs> one day in, um, what was the video? A week in my twist out video. One of the days, I think it was like a went, the Wednesday where I had the white top and the jeans, and I had on a lip. And I couldn't remember what it was, but it was, um, I just remembered it was AMC Cosmetics lip gloss with lip gloss and eye candy with um, this brown lip liner from the Beauty Supply NK makeup. So it's kind of like a gray tone. I hadn't really worn that before, but I really like it. I'm not gonna do that today. It's just too much. Maybe. But I'm just gonna use this lip gloss from Milani right now, but I have my gloss bomb in my bag. I don't know why I ever try painting my nails because they always mess up. Okay. I really think that's it. <laughs> Cause oh man. I gotta mess it up. Woo! That's laid. Okay. This is hair and makeup. <laughs> I'm just gonna go back over my baby hairs just a little bit. All right, so <clears throat> next is the outfit. I think I'm gonna put this flexi rod back in. I'm just, I don't think it would hurt to put it back in for right now. Cute. Okay. So the last thing is the outfit. Um, and I think I might, I might, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna vlog. Honestly, I'm not going to. Yeah, the last thing is the outfit. What time is it? 3:19. We're doing great. The makeup didn't take long at all. I almost forgot to add my moles since I'm breaking out. I have like a few bumps, so I always just make them into moles. <laughs> And this is a brown liner from AOA Studio from Shop Missy. <laughs> I don't even know why I tried to play myself with that regular nail polish on my natural nails. That's why I never do that because it always chips. And it was ugly. The makeup I got in it, gross. So I just took that off and went and made myself a press on set real fast. So I'm about to apply this. Let me get my nail glue. Got the goods. Okay, so so I know y'all want me to make a nail video and I want to make it too. Um, it's just like doing my nails takes, like getting a set of nails is like too, like I want to do like a real set on my nails, not a press on set. Cause the press on, the only difference is that, like I want to do a whole process of like applying the acrylic or maybe I'll do a gel set. So, um, doing that, I didn't want to make a press on set cause I just felt like that would be I could show more by doing a full set which means that's gonna take about two three hours of just doing my nails and I just haven't had all the time to complete it I've been like really rushing to do my nails lately so hopefully I'm thinking I'm gonna I'm just gonna like plan a day to do it um, next week or the week after and hopefully have some kind of nail video up in October so it's coming soon I'm gonna make one uh, yeah but in the meantime we can do this so these are the press-ons um, I do make press-ons and I sell them um, bling it my Instagram for my nail page is bling nail studio if you're interested in like press-ons um, otherwise nothing I don't know what <laughs> but um yeah i love press ons because they're quick like i literally it took me about 15 minutes to go and make these real fast and um i also like press ons because um if you do it right you can grow your nails if you wanted to and they allow me to do like more nail designs and stuff so if press ons to me focus on the art part but not today i just painted white polish because i really wanted the my nails to be white to match my shoes
It's outfit time. Okay, so the first thing I have, I'm wearing these biker shorts. These are gray biker shorts from the beauty supply. <laughs> My beauty supply, like um, Jenny's, if anybody lives in Dallas, I'm pretty sure you know Jenny's. There's like tons. Um, and they're giant and they sell everything. And that's where these are from. I personally like this material better. They're like $4. Um, this material better than, I have some from Pretty Little Thing and it's like more of a clothy, cottony and um, I don't like that. So this is like polyester, I think. Oh no, nylon and spandex. I like that better than cotton. So I'm gonna put these on real quick. Okay, shorts on. So next is my shirt. I have this Nirvana oversized shirt. This is from Urban Outfitters. Um, yeah, I got some graphic tees from Forever 21 and I ended up returning them because I didn't wear them because like it, it was cheaper but it wasn't it didn't fit right on me and Urban Outfitters just does it right like they do my style right so I always find that everything that I buy from Urban I always have for a long time so got this one I got Nirvana because I actually listened to Nirvana they also have Sublime I listen to Sublime too but like they also had like Joy Division and some other stuff that I don't even I couldn't even tell you a song so I'm about to put this on okay this is the shirt right this is cute because I'm about to go eat okay I'm about to eat the last thing is well besides my shoes are the flannel so I have these two flannel options both of these are thrifted um what do y'all think i'm wearing white all white air forces what do y'all think i don't know i first i was thinking this because it's kind of playing with the text but then the light one is kind of a thing because it's light so it kind of is more neutral it matches so i'm gonna put the red one on first and i'm gonna put my shoes on too and then i'm probably gonna ask my friend because y'all can't answer me yes yes i'm so oh this is my favorite outfit i've been wearing this outfit like this all summer like oversized shirt like i had on before or a sweatshirt biker shorts and today i have on a flannel this is it okay let me get my shoes well i have them right here so today i'm wearing white high air forces oh i have my socks in here um and i just got them and we're throwing these on today what do y'all think they're super white on camera let me put these on real quick y'all should i wear these shoes or the my white converse because the white converse has red in them i feel like i should wear these Let me try on the other flannel. Oh my gosh. Ooh, the, okay. This one looks good with the forces and then the red one looks better with the converse, I think. They're so like big and clunky. I have this other flannel. Oh no, no, no. I'm sorry. So I don't know what to one yet, but then I have this bag. It's like a camera bag that I thrifted, but I thought it was cool as like a regular bag. Um, and I'm just gonna carry crossbody when I get there, but that's what it looks like. I don't know. I'll be back when I make my decision though, and then we'll put on our jewelry. I'm kind of leaning towards one direction on the flannel and shoe situation, but in the meantime, I went ahead and put on my jewelry. So I have these rings from the M Jewelers. They sent them to me, so thank you, the M Jewelers. I have these earrings that are from, they're like glitter hoops. They're from a, a store called Sam Moon. Inside piercing ear thingy is from Claire's. This necklace, the Leo necklace is from Amazon. This cross is from Forever 21. The nameplate is from the M Jewelers and then this long one is from Forever 21 too. Um, I think that's everything. 
I just have to figure out what shoes I'm gonna wear, so I'll give y'all the final look when I'm ready to go. Yeah, I mean, we're basically ready. I just need to put some lotion on. Oh, that's what it was. I forgot I, I wanted to wear a brown liner with the gloss. So let me get that. I'm gonna do this Kiss Intense Luxury Intense Lip Liner and it's retractable in the shade dark brown. So I'm gonna go with this and the forces. I think I'm just not they're new shoes to me. I haven't worn something that clunky that's like a tennis shoe like a boot yeah but it's like way thicker than I thought which is why I understand why you would get the low ones so I'm not gonna exchange it for the low ones now because I'm about to wear them but I would definitely I didn't try on the low ones when I bought them so the next time I go to the store I'm gonna try on the low ones but I love the way they look they're just way clunkier than I thought so I'm just gonna have to get used to it Hmm. Hmm. I think I was liking it without the liner. Let me just dab some of it off. Oh crap. Ouch. This is the finished look. You see everything? Is it focused? With the forces. I don't know what to do with the little velcro thingies. I'll probably put them together, but I just don't want them hanging, but this is the look how cute this is what it's looking like i like it oh there you go you can see everything now so hair yeah so this is the end of the video i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i will see you next time bye